Hi, I'm Mike Payne. Hi, I'm Maya Mohan. And, and this, this is Showbuzz. Buzz. Today we're really excited to talk with you guys about our reactions to the season 6 premiere of The Walking Dead, first time again. And as always, there's spoiler alerts, so if you haven't seen this episode, you need to hurry up and catch it so uh, you can watch this recap. So first off, we want to talk a little bit about the production value of this episode. We thought it was fantastic. It was awesome! All those zombies! How many people were those, were those zombies? Yeah, well this is the first time they've ever had that many zombies in an episode. Usually it's like 12, 10, mm -hmm. something like that. But this time it was like the thousands. Genius. Yeah, it was like a thousand <laughs> zombies. So we're not really used to that, but that was really cool to see. These are zombies that have been roaming around for years now, years. So it was cool to see like just how decayed their makeup was and um, didn't one of the zombies have their like skin fall off? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was actually a really cool scene where that zombie walked between those two trucks mm -hmm. and his whole face got ripped off. That, that was, yeah, that was... Gross, well, we like cool. Yeah, we like stuff like that. Well, something else that was cool was their use of black and white yes. in the episode. I think it was cool that they did it to depict, you know, time lapse. The story itself was actually kind of simple, but they did a really good job of doing the black and white showing the the past and the present, which was very artistic. I enjoyed that. I think that the, their way of delivering the story made you forget that it was a pretty straightforward storyline <laughs> and kept you engaged for 90 minutes. I, I had no idea until I looked on my DVR that this was a 90 minute episode. I just wanted more. I wanted more of all of these little hints and you know, we watched it a second time and you picked up a little bit more the second time that we watched it. And like, for example, Glenn and Maggie, maybe there's a baby there? Glenn and Maggie babies? <laughs> babies! <laughs> Did Diana send Rick and Morgan out to that quarry on purpose? I think so. I love her and I think she is so smart and so sharp and I think she knew totally what she was doing. I will say that Diana Wright at this moment is a little detached from the whole thing because she's still in mourning for her husband that was just killed. Yeah, because that jack wagon stabbed him in the neck. What yeah. an asshole. We're not quite sure if Diana's the one that needs to be in charge right now. Maybe this is Rick's time to take over the group in Alexandria. She's, she's like... Not relinquishing, but she's definitely deferring to Rick. I mean, she's letting Rick lead the way, and Rick is, you know, paying her, you know, respect and off, you know, kind of trying to abide by her wishes. So I think that they have a good dynamic. I mean, I think she recognizes that she can't lead. I think he recognizes that he needs to lead. I bet you Reg had something to do with building that. Uh, maybe not building the like you know putting the trucks in the in the quarry to like stave off those zombies but they had to have known let's talk about the quarry for a minute how how did that become how did that start mm -hmm. how did it happen did the did alexandria start that quarry and if and if they did then diana had to have known that that quarry was out there when she sent rake and morgan out there to uh, bury uh pete this is a such a small thing how did ron walk the distance from the camp all the way to where they were gonna bury his dad. And, and and in the same time that Rick and Morgan drove a car. Walking Dead is really bad about that because I never understood how Morgan walked from Atlanta to DC and, and then met up with those guys. Like, are you kidding me? Like He hitched a ride. He he hitched a ride with who? Who did he hitch a ride with? There's nobody Details. left. Let's talk about the main storyline, which was getting the zombies that were in that quarry out of there. Um, but where were they going? I mean, this was the whole like black and white time lapse thing, so you don't really know how much time this all took. But, you know, they engaged all of the, the residents in Alexandria to build kind of that perimeter wall sort of thing to guide the zombies, and then they had a plan. Mm -hmm. well, this all leads up into Carter who uh, was, well, we're, we're not quite sure what Carter's deal was, but Carter, I think, was... He's scared. He's a big, giant chicken. <laughs> well, Carter, I think, was fine with status quo. He's like, look, we're in his Alexandria, and everything's cool, so let's not, let's not mess rock anything. Up. Yeah, let's not rock the boat. Mm -hmm. But uh, Rick realized that, look, if we don't take care of this problem right now, then it's going to become a bigger problem in the, in the future. Unfortunately, as we all know, Carter was killed 
and probably for the best because he oh, yeah. didn't seem like he was somebody that, other than the fact that he could build a wall, he didn't seem like he was somebody that, that um, was he good for the He pulled a gun on Captain Mullet. <laughs> he did. What? He I did. mean, I'm not a fan of Captain Mullet, but Jesus, come on. Time it. to go. Yeah, it seems See like just later. deserves it. Uh, Carter was uh, taken out. I thought that he'd have maybe like another episode or two. I mean, that, that like wackadoodle priest is still around, Gabriel. <laughs> What is he gonna? However, I'm I'm sorry. That was awesome when Rick just totally denied him. What are you doing here, Father Gabriel? He's gone. He's out of there. He well, had... I'm predicting this right now. I've been predicting that every episode since we met him, and that dude is still around. There's Glenn and Nicholas. That's such a weird dynamic uh, because it's like there's this whole huge group, and then Glenn is like off to the side, like. Okay, I'm telling you that you don't need to do this. This, you know, it's like he, he he's like he, he's like Nicholas's babysitter. We all know Glenn just wants to like do whatever will please Rick. Like, please, Rick, please pick me, pick me. We we know that, and that I love Glenn. We met Glenn in person. We did meet Glenn. That in was person. awesome, Stephen. You and we love you. That for all of how, how like beautifully orchestrated. Who blew the horn? Who, Who blew, blew the, the horn? horn? We don't know. We we don't know. Could it have been Ron? Could it have been the wolves? No. I think Who blew the horn? I don't know. Who blew the horn? And what's gonna happen? All those all those zombies. Thousands of those walkers are heading straight to Alexandria. Yeah. What does that do for the wa for the wolves? It's their introduction and Negan. God, what is gonna happen on this season? So that's what we thought about this episode. What did you guys think? Leave us a, a note or a comment down below. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page at Underground Atlanta. We'll leave links to everything in our uh, description bar below. We really need you to watch our show. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's here. It's this Grace. is Gracie. Also known as Crazy G and PPG and oh, Cutie Pie G. She loves giving kisses.